So a lot of you have asked me to apply for ERLC developer for some reason and some of you have even asked me to make a video on what I'll do um, if I became an ERLC developer and what I would add and what I would change and all of that. So, so I'm going to be tweaking that idea a little bit and I'm going to be talking about the future of ERLC and giving like some suggestions and quote unquote potentially things I would add if I became an ERLC developer. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So um, I think we should start off with the changes and then move on to the things I would add and remove. So the first thing I would change is this right here, the cell phone right over here. Now, if I was in a public server, there would be like a bunch of other people over here, but um, since I'm in my private server, there aren't. But I think the cell phone is really dated. It's been like in the game since release, I believe it is. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But this, this cell phone's been in the game for a while. And maybe if this was updated, more people would actually use it. I mean, just look at Greenville's and Southwest Florida's um, cell phones there. They are quite like detailed and have a lot of purposes and have a lot of apps. Whereas this, this is just like calling other people and texting. It's not, it doesn't have that much of a function here. So um, yeah, I think if this would get a revamp, that would be very, very cool there. Next thing I would change is the pay on the law enforcement teams. The law enforcement teams do not get a lot of money. They get like $500 every like 50 minutes. It's not, um, it's not a lot of pay there. So if I think the law enforcement team gets some more pay, then I think it would be good for the game and um, yeah, more people would actually play and earn money and more people would actually play for longer and um, earn some more money off of it so yeah i think this team could get a little more pay there and um yeah that's something i would change now last thing i would change i just hopped off the civilian team i should probably go back on but it is the amount of um it is the vehicle so the vehicle suspension is not great like look at this suspension travel there's like practically no suspension travel where I, but look at southwest florida suspension look at how much it flexes and all of that while as this it just like is quite stiff and this is no matter what car like every car has this i think it would be nice if some of the off-roading vehicles at least get some more suspension travel because like this there's nothing much really with the suspension travel right now but yeah that's i think everything i would change at the moment let's go to the things that i would add so adding on to what the suspension travel and the off-roading thing was i think i would add more off-roading space because if i just fly my um fly up into free camp we can see this is literally the only place you can kind of go off-roading my map won't loading for some reason but this is kind of like the only place you can go off-roading ish and that's not really that big of a place and in there there's like cabins and all of that there's no like really off-roading area in this game so i think off-roading um would be so i think an off-roading trail or off-roading park would be very very good for this now the next thing that i would like to see or i would like to add or I, I'm predicting, I don't even know what to call this, but it is the vehicle customization. I mean, just look at the amount of customization ability we have. We don't have a lot. We have, what, what do you see? So we have the repair, we have the car color, rim color, license plate, and license plate design. There's not really much. Maybe if we had like rim design, maybe like suspension body kits, you know, kind of like what Southwest Florida has. I think it would be, um, I think it would be better and it would add a lot more variety to, a lot more variety of cars to the game because right now, ERLC has some very limited cars and especially for car shows, you know, um, there aren't really a lot of cars for that, so you'll see cars on repeat, so I think this would be a good way to break it up and all of that. Now I think the last thing I am going to add, at least for this week, I could keep going on and on with this but i think the last thing is going to be the different variations of houses here so as we can see we have this big two-story house we have this um small one-story house with the garage and then we have like a one-story house without the garage and i think we have one more which is like the trailer homes kind of thing so there aren't really much there isn't really much variety of housing in the game maybe some apartments um could be added into river city and um, yeah, those things. But um, yeah, I think more housing would be a good um, thing. And I think it will be coming to ERLC here in the near future, here in 2024. But I could keep going on and on with things I would add and things I would do to the game. But I think we should talk about what I would remove. Now, this is 
Now this is quite a difficult question here. There aren't really many things I can remove from the game. It's like everything's its own, you know, everything serves its own purpose. But I think the one thing that I would remove if I were to, and it doesn't really bother me a lot, but you know, is this thing right here, this um, Liberty Motel here. And um, yeah, this Poly House Motel, whatever you want to call it because it serves literally no purpose. It came in for the Halloween update and it's just like done, right? They just blocked it off and they just have this one sign over here, whereas every other building with a sign has an actual function to it. Yeah, that's just like a personal opinion. It's not really like, it doesn't really bother me a lot, but for the sake of this video, I did have to choose something that I would remove and that kind of bothered me more than anything else. So, um. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's it for this video here. If you guys did enjoy, like, subscribe, hit the bell button, join the Discord server, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to the Clips channel. And huge shout out to the person who did give me this idea. I'll put the screenshot up on screen. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.